Mikey Sherrill is a first-term representative in the U.S. House from New Jersey's 11th Congressional District. Montclair News Lab covered her campaign, her election night, and reached out to her after the election to see if we could tag along with her in Washington. I'm a freshman at Montclair State University, and you're a freshman at Congress. <laughs> A little bit of a difference, but I know when I was when I started at Montclair, it was a big adjustment for you, for me. So, what were some of the adjustments you had to make as soon as you came into Congress? An adjustment you have to make is, you come from your campaign, and it's a very autonomous experience. And you get into Congress, and now you suddenly have to um, really get the agenda that's good for your district to pass. And to do that, you have to form broad coalitions across the caucus, which uh, is really exciting and but different. Different. Moving into a new home means decorating the office with mementos and knickknacks that remind her of home, as well as moments of her previous life. How does being a, a mom, being all of these roles, wearing all these different hats, how do you do that all? And the answer is you don't. When I um, looked at what was happening in this country and, and what I wanted for the future of this country, and the fact that I didn't think we were addressing um, our changing economy in the way we needed to. These were all things that you know, I was very concerned about, and because I have four kids and care so much about the future of the country, I knew I needed to run, and I needed to make sure that, I, uh, you know, that my voice was heard about these critical issues. Keeping up with Cheryl is a challenge. Our interview was cut short because the Congresswoman was late for a confidential meeting of the House Armed Services Committee. She comes to Washington at a time of great divide in the country and lack of confidence in Congress. According to the latest Gallup poll, only 26% of people approve the job Congress does as of March 2019. I think we also just model it in Congress by focusing on our districts and the pieces of legislation that are really going to affect the day-to-day -day lives of families. To me, that's always my guidepost. I think when we focus on our families and we focus on their future, we develop more confidence in our legislative system. At times of increased polarization, how do Democrats like Cheryl work with Republicans? Oh, I certainly think there's a way to um, work with broad coalitions to get great legislation passed for the American people. Um, and I think the 11th district is a, a great representative district of what we need to do in this country. I will say that there's broad agreement on what we need to do for the American people. Cheryl seems to be handling her freshman year just fine. In fact, Politico magazine called her the most important new woman in Congress. From Montclair News Lab, I'm Louis Biontalillo.